We're at that time that, that Paul warned Timothy about. We're at that time that Jesus warned us about in Matthew 24. He said, let no man deceive you. Why such an emphasis on these warnings? Let no man deceive you. Be watchful. Contend earnestly for the faith. Because, you see, the fathers of the faith in Jesus, they've been telling us all along things are going to be just like they are right now. And I just want you to understand something else before we move on. This nation that we live in, is no more. The U.S. of A. is no longer what it was, and nor shall it ever be again anything like what it was. The U.S. of A. has lost its identity to the world spirit, the Antichrist spirit. It has lost its identity, has disappeared into the flames of the nature of hell. There is no hope for America as a nation, but there is hope for the souls that inhabit this land The American dream, as they say, is dead. And that's all it ever was, was a dream. It was a fleeting desire, a vapor, and has, has been released and it's passed away. You see, because the only thing that will endure forever is the Word of God and everything born of it. This nation will fall. This nation has fallen already. We just haven't seen the fulfillment of it in the physical realm. And once this manifests itself, we will then begin to see those who have been chosen to bear His name, those who have been chosen to walk in the Spirit, those who have been chosen from the foundation of the world, finally come into their place. And for those of us who have heard this calling already and God has brought us in, we're going to enter a higher realm of understanding, of oneness with Him, we are finally going to have our heart's desire and be even more delivered from the nature of the flesh and given over to the nature of God. 